Hey, y'all, hey. It's your girl, Save Bay. So I just had a conversation earlier with somebody. And when I tell y'all that conversation vexed my spirit, um, we were just having a casual talk. And um, during the talk, like some little shots were fired at me or whatever. And this person um, believed that they have the spirit of God, right? And we know that the Bible says we have to know them by their fruit. And what I realized in that moment in that conversation is that sometimes the devil can have you so fooled to where you really honestly believe that you have the Holy Spirit in you, right? But you have to look at, do I operate in the character of God? God operates in love. Now, not all the time. Sometimes God is a God of war, right? Um, but the character of God can be studied in the Bible. He's patient. He's kind. He gives grace, mercy, just his character in general, just his mindset in general. So when you say that you have the Holy Spirit, but you, but your actions show that you work for the devil, that means that you don't have the Holy Spirit. And sometimes people can think that because I can talk in tongues or because I can dance real good in church or I can hop up and down at the altar or that I have a gift to tap in and out of the spirit that I'm good. I have the Holy Spirit. But that's not true because the Bible even says that the gifts come out without repentance. I can operate my gift and not be in a repentant state. So if I'm not repentant, that means I'm rebelling right so it's very pay close attention to the conversations you have with people because when you're silent people will tell you who they are they will show you who you they are especially if you know them and you're thinking to yourself god do not throw shots at people like that god do not cause the holy spirit in you will stop you you know what I'm saying? From hurting people, harming people, breaking people, right? The Holy Ghost in you will stop you from sending that long thread, cussing them out. I just, he just saved me this morning. He just saved somebody this morning from a good, a good old read from me. And I deleted it. The Holy Ghost will stop your tongue before you even go off on them. The Holy Ghost will intervene, right? The Holy Ghost is going to tell you. How to move, when to move, what to do, what not to do, how to operate, you know. So this person goes on to say, um, I cast out, only only one of us can cast out demons. And I'm sitting here, and I my response was, Satan can't cast out Satan. I'm pretty sure at one point, you know, in people's lives, they do operate in the fullness of the Holy Ghost. And they do have a relationship with God, and they do listen to God, but... If you're working for the devil, you're not operating in the fullness of God. If you're in covenant with certain spirits that go against what God says, the word says, and who God is in general, you're not operating in the Holy Spirit. When you have conversations with people, follow follow the motive. Follow the intention behind it. Because when I was I was really green up until the past couple of years of my life thinking that people were really because you jumped up and down you were saved and because you fall out you save and because you you can speak in tongues you save demons can speak in tongues anybody well i don't know about anybody i got my tongues from the holy ghost but i heard that people can fake tongues i heard you know what i'm saying i you know people can tap into the spirit realm illegally look at witches and warlocks they do it all the time so what separates you from this the kingdom of hell is do you listen to God? Do you operate in the fullness of God? Is your in, does your integrity match the character of God? Does your character match the character of God? Can God trust you? Do you follow what he say? Do you listen to him? Can people give you wisdom? Can people tell you something about yourself or do you always think that you're right? Do you always think that you have the answers? Do you operate in pride? What spirits are you in covenant with? Because can you really walk with God unless you agree with him? Can't do both. But that's my rant for the night. Have a good day.